There you are. was. We, uh, we got this call, and we That's did it. That's nice. It's called the comeback, I believe. Yeah, huh? he's terrific actor. Yeah, he is a nice guy, too. Yes. Yeah. Kip is doing all kinds of funny things around town. We'd love to have him here. Say hello to your lady captain from Chuck. Oh, you want to say something, Kip? No, I was just going to agree with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You, you, you gotta be fast here. Yes. You gotta get in there. I'm Dr. Abraham Stein, your professor of humor, the Baba Cheke with the ha-ha. Cleopatra's ass was full of it. Yes, a hole in the ground. <laughs> no. <laughs> my name is Henry Desmond. This is my associate, uh, Kip Wilson. We really enjoyed the show tonight. Yeah, I'm Bud Shore. Thank you and beat it. <laughs> Shut! <laughs> All right. You with a mustache? Walk on by. <laughs> What's in it for me? What's in it for Bud? <laughs> I'd say Las Vegas. Las Vegas is so hot. My shvachos is zaitin with my shirt off. But I, I, you know, I... You charge me all that money for 30 minutes work? <laughs> oh, I, I need the money. I'm trying to finish medical school. <laughs> and as they say in the old Hebrew tradition, Moses said to the Israelites and to the Israel darks, because it takes all kinds. Am I kidding? I wouldn't be kidding at this point. Pony! Capone! Oh! <laughs> I've got a hole in my pantyhose. You do? All right, he said that you've got a <laughs> hole in your pantyhose. A newlywed? I am a newlywed. I married a woman. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> a cow goes up to a priest. A cow. He goes, Moo, me father, Bacho, the Jeezy Moo. Mooji, me father, Bacho, Bucha. And the priest, Zucha, cow, Zucha. <laughs> He threw the plastic petals right in my face on purpose. No, Jim, uh, Jim, I, I don't like working with a mad professional. Thank you very much. Oh. Hey, boys, here are your aprons. <laughs> You're going to make marvelous bus boys. Does Dr. Padnick look crazy? <laughs> it's a tape of you and me on a wonderful summer vacation, Bob. Saga. Meet, Crete, Pete, Deet, Meet, T, T, Pete, Zee, Pete, Pete. I wish there was an easier way to eliminate the drudgery of this disagreeable household chore. There is a way. One, two, three. Oh, well, what about the MC? With that ungrateful thief. I caught him trying to sneak away with this stuck in his boot. I hope they hang him. It's the last time I hire my brother. <laughs> Arabia, Arabia. Jimmy Cagney, Jimmy Cagney for the motion picture, Yankee Doodle Enemy. Many years ago, you remember that. You, you, Jordy, Shahad is Thank you. Hey, where'd you get your clothes? Men of the cloth. Men of the cloth, tailors. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, so, the whole day long, Smurfy Stitch has trained and strong. Are you all right? I sure am, Papa Smurf. And I'll bet you I'm the first Smurf to ever find a needle in a haystack. Today and find yourself a place where you won't get into any trouble. Some place where there isn't any trouble. Do you suppose there is such a place, Toto? There must be. It's not a place you can get to by a boat or a train. It's far, far away. Behind the moon. Beyond the rain.
wish upon a star and wake up where the clouds are far behind me. Where troubles melt like lemon drops away above the chimney tops, that's where Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse, one of Hollywood's finest couples. One of the great couples of all time were divorcing, and Mickey and Minnie were in the judge's chamber. And so the judge came out after many hours of deliberation and said, I cannot divorce. <laughs> I cannot divorce you guys just because you say she's crazy, Mickey. He said, I didn't say she's crazy. I said she's fucking goofy. I'm happy that you liked the show. I'm grateful you liked me. And I'm sure to you the tribute seemed quite right. But if you knew of all the years of hopes and dreams and tears, you'd know it didn't happen. Overnight. I was born you know, my new in a trunk. <laughs> Reinforcements. In Pokemon. Speak it. It ain't got Bill and Zach kid like you never seen. They the ten stories high. Like mountains. Why have you ever been up in one? Have I ever been? <laughs> Look, I don't believe a word of it. Now, Cole told me all about your involvement in the Eastside Boogie scam. I had nothing to do with that scam. Well, I hate to see the mob find out who ripped them off. <sighs> you were scared, just kids, see? Cops were shooting guns at you, you thought they were another gang. Self-defense, okay? Okay, now you heard it, and you do it just like he said. Pinky, you're in charge. Okay, so do I have my choice of seats or what? The back. The back. In the back. The back. Or the Only in the back. They tell me that I stopped the show. So I grew up. In a crazy world of dressing rooms. Folks who want to get higher might buy one to step on. Rooms, a dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> Just drop a lily pad in your bowl, and its effervescent cleaning action disinfects and deodorizes, too. You're doing a real great job, Badger. Really good. Yo, well, I ain't done nothing that you couldn't have done ten times better, Lanny. See, me and the guys, well, you're the best in the business. First thing is this. I carry the heat. And the way sure. And you got a You look like gigolos with mustaches. You, know you look like paid male companions. Quirky, hey Dr. Kipper, how are you? Quirky, things are a little slow around here today. I'm wondering, could you take over for me? I have a, I have a very important appointment with. Uh, I have, it's a dentist. Thanks, I appreciate it. So I gotta leave you now, but I wanna tell you very seriously for my schwager, Mr. Music, please. But what a crazy town this is. Here I am, child. You busy as well? It only happens to be the biggest music hall in the whole world. It only happens to have the best show. 
squirrels they got there. <laughs> You're a good Jewish boy. I was at your bar mitzvah. I gave you a bar. Come on. Go through. How long do they go? What are we into? What is it? 38th hour? I don't care, because I'm in the show. I love the old folks at home. As long as you remember, I'll always be there. My dear old man. I am the genius. I know you're going to do just fine. Dr. Kipper, I will never forget you. And someday you will be a real boy. A real boy! Oh.